Okay, people, it's just a wee quick update or just a wee quick video here to show uh, a few of you about the Radio Link AT10 transmitter. A couple of people have been in touch about various different things, especially one there about uh, they weren't able to arm. So, this is a wee quick video about the way I have mine set up. This might not be your personal choice, but this will get APM, uh, your APM boards working for you, hopefully. So, I'll just quickly show you my settings through really the basic settings for APM. I'm using channels 1 to 5. At the minute, and channel I'm using channel six as well, which is linked into the receiver's channel in the APM's channel. Channel six linked into channel seven, if you get me on the APM board. That way, then the channel seven I use it for uh, my auto tune and stuff like that. You know, so just quickly show you here. So we're powered on anyway, and uh, as you can see, we we'll have uh, throttle controls, left hand throttle. And these two switches here is my channel 5, which is set up uh, in attitude mode. I've set these two switches in attitude mode, which has given me six uh, six choices, six flight modes whenever uh, through APM, whenever you're setting APM, then this will give you the six uh, flight modes to choose from. Everything else basically is uh, wired directly to my gimbal and that landing gear and stuff like that through my sliders on the side and switches here for my landing gear. And this switch here as well is set from a gimbal, but uh, what I'm using is Zion Tech uh, Tiny 2 at the minute. So basically, anyway, go in here and uh, you want to set your model type, whatever you're setting these up for uh, hexacopters, multi rotors, stuff like that. You want to make sure that you set it as a multi rotor, not a helicopter, it has to be a multi rotor. You can set it as an airplane and work it that way, but this. Transmitter has a multi rotor setting on it, so you want to set it up a bit like this. Okay, your endpoints I'll show you here. Uh, 138 is all set up 100 except for my auxiliary one, which is set 40 to 75. But this isn't connected to APM, this is connected to my gimbal, and I need these percentages set to operate the different modes on my gimbal. So, as you can see here, 138 is set up to 100% except for channel 6, but it's not going to be APM. Come out of that sub chin. Everything is set to 0. Reverse. Now, you'll see that's the question that was asked here. Channel 3 has to be reversed. So, 1 through 8, everything's, well not everything's normal, but the other ones I'm using for different things, but your channel 3, you have to reverse the throttle, okay, uh, auxiliary channels here, channel 5, as you can see, set an attitude, and then the rest here, except for channel 6, which is switch E, or, or sorry, I'm, I'm thinking of the Miller controller here. I'm, <laughs> I'm ahead of myself. Channel 9 on my receiver, switch B. This is linked to channel 7 on my APM, which gives me my auto tune or whatever I set it to at the minute. It's set for auto tune through the APM. So if I'm flying the hex or whatever, I want to tune it on a calm day, flick that, and it'll self test, land it disarm and then I can turn that off again I'll save it so that's the way I have it set there for my auxiliary channels obviously everybody's is going to be different but channel 5 is the important one here for you is I'm going to set that in attitude mode so push the mode button one more time we'll get us in the attitude mode and this is the settings for my attitude mode channel 5 which is these two switches switch C and switch D at the minute I can with both switches up, I'm in stabilize. With the left switch down, I'm in altitude mode. It says Addy, but it's actually altitude hold mode. And that down further again will be in the fail safe. You can see the percentages here, and you can see what I have them set to. You can come down and change. We're using your, your cursor, you can change this, but that's the way I have mine set up. So just so you can all see the way I have the positions of the switches. Up, up, center, up, down, up, and uh, up, down, center, down, and down, down. You have to set the rates. You have to go across to set the rates for the percentage for your PWM outputs. 
as well. If you set them all more or less identical to this, like stabilize mode, Addy is altitude, fail safe is actually return to launch, FS, RTL, return to launch, circle mode for circling, position hold, which is GPS, hold, and then land. So if you set all your rates up to 31%, 55%, 82%, 21%, 45%, and 67%, this will give you six modes you can choose from whenever you're setting up your channel 5 on your APM. And you can see the way I have them across here then, switch to off, off, on, off, off, off. And you can go across and you can do all this yourself. Well, let's just show me it's on at the minute because that's what I've selected. As I change my switch, that changes to let you know what it's actually selected at the minute. So I'll come out here and I'll show you what I mean. Go back to the start here. So... As you can see, both switch switches up or in stabilized mode. I would take off this way. Once I'm in the air, hovering, happy enough. It depends what I'm doing, but I'm normally video and something. I would swap over into Addy, which is my altitude hold mode. Whenever I'm happy with that and I'm maybe flying about and I know I've got good P GPS and everything's all picked up for me, I can throw this switch down then, which gives me position hold. So this stick centered. This one's now down. I've got position hold. If I find something that I want to go around and circle around, I can fly around myself if I want, but it's just as easy then. Now I have it set up to 20 metres to come out from the centre. So hover above something, flick that switch up, goes into circle mode, it'll pull it, turn itself to face the centre, come out 20 metres and do a big circle. And I'll just keep circling and circling and circling until I bring the switch back down into position hold and the craft will stop for me. You know, uh, so... Then if I bring the next one down, so if I'm flying, I'm bringing back home, and I'm sort of hovering, throw both switches down, land, the, the, my uh, hex will land itself. For emergencies, or if I can't see where it is, as I did, I've done a video, I got lost in the fog one time with my hex. This switch up, this switch down, fail safe, which is return to launch, and uh <laughs> the hex or whatever it is you have will come back to you. So I hope that helped this wee quick video. Uh, it's all basically I can show you. So I have mine set up, you know, like I say, this one here, which is actually set on channel 9. So I take my, my servo cable from channel 9 on the receiver. I plug it into channel 7 on the APM board on the input. And that way then it'll operate the channel 7 on the input. And I have it set. Uh, three mission planner for auto tune at the minute. I will change it, but at the minute it's for auto tune. You can take it and change this then to fail safe. Change your fail safe on this to whatever else. Like for starting, you could change whatever you want, really. You know, but uh, basically that's the way I have it set up. It gives me six flight modes, not just the with the three position switch. I have six six flight modes I can choose from, and my auto tune. You know, this here is from a gimbal. As I was saying, one of the channels was set there. At forty percent and seventy percent or something like that. That's from a for my uh for my, my gimbal modes and the sliders for my gimbal uh up and down pitch control and then I use this one here for yaw on my actual camera as well whenever it's in the air. Uh, some of the other switches aren't used, you know. But uh, that's basically it. I'll just quickly go into this again here. Where are we? mode go into it. We'll come, attitude mode will let you see attitude mode. You can pause and have a nose hit this. So that's the way I have attitude mode. Channel 5 set up. And that's the way I have all the rates. Like I say, you can come down with your cursor and change that around. But you need to set all these rates up for a percentage of PWM for your uh, autopilot. If you set your rates up, set your rates up to these exactly. 31, 55, 82, 21, 45, 67. And then you can change these to whatever you want. You know, you can change them to whatever way you're happy with the switches. You know, it tells you there, on, stabilize. I can change that around to land, if you understand me, and then change my land to stabilize or whatever you want. And then whenever you're setting up your APM and you come to your channel 5 part for setting up your transmitter, whenever you'll see it light up green anyway, whenever you're connected to the mission planner, it will go green for you. And uh, say, so yours stabilizes there at the minute, and yours is lit up green and it's saying circle. Click on it with your mouse and go and change it on Mission Planner to stabilize. 
don't change it here change it on mission planner because you can change it that way and that way then whenever you, you'll have it all set up so each one corresponds to what's lighting up green on APM so like I say you need to reverse the throttle that's the the first thing you need to do and that will that way you'll be able to arm it I know you were having problems there arming so you were able to do it whenever you throttled up <laughs> and went right but there you go hopefully that'll help you a wee bit let me know what you think and uh, if anybody needs any more help I'll, I'll gladly try and help but uh, I come out to do this in a hurry uh, the wife's in watching TV and uh, I'm supposed to be in with the wife here's me I'm way to make a video here quick for a boy <laughs> So anyway, hope this helped you a lot anyway, and uh, so you can let me know what you think. Cheers now, bye-bye.